Hello everyone and welcome to the Telstra locker room after a, a really a tough win by the boys. Should have been by a little bit more because of the way they dominated the game, particularly inside 50s. Take the win anyway. And let's have a chat to a couple of boys and I think we might be able to catch Jared Cameron on debut. Young Jared, excuse me, mate, if you don't mind, Benny and mate. Jared, firstly, congratulations, young man. Well done. Yeah. Nervous early? Yeah, I was nervous um, all week leading up, especially today. Couldn't sleep. Tried to have a nap today, but yeah, I couldn't, so I was just laying in bed. But once I was out there, it was all good, yeah. And a couple of the senior boys, particularly Jess, give you some settling words beforehand, mate, just to just play your natural game? Yeah, just bring your one. He was just saying bring your one wood, um, and that's what I thrive off is tackle pressure. So I brought that today um, and just wanted me to play, my, play how I play, yeah. And I think I jumped higher than I ever had before, mate, when I saw you kick your first goal. How special is that, mate? Yeah, it's pretty special. I missed the first one, yeah, then lucky it came my way again and I went back and kicked it, but it's pretty exciting getting all the boys to come around me. Well, congratulations, mate, because when you think about it, it was only six months or so ago you were playing in a grand final with the Swan District's Colts. Yep. Now you've played your first game. A lot to look forward, mate. Well done, yep. and congratulations, yeah, mate. Nice. Well done. Thank Good night, Jared. There you go, young fella, mate. We'll hope to try and grab someone else in just a minute. Handball straight to Hearn, and we'll look at all the West Coast players behind the footy. Cameron again. He can go. He can run. From 40, a low fizzler. His first goal in footy. Well, that's the second time in four nights that he's experienced that. All of his teammates jumping on top of him in celebration. And Jared, from uh, Jared Cameron, we're going to talk to the big fella, Tommy Hickey. And Hick, just standing here, mate, thank you for taking some time to have a chat. Thought you did really well tonight, mate. A lot of pressure, got some first hands on it. But some of your work around the ground, particularly going back and helping out, was really good. You must be happy with your game. Yeah, I've had a couple of games against Big Tommy Bell Chambers. I think one was a Friday night and I had to delete social media after it. So it was uh, pretty good to get uh, sort of just to make amends for that and um, have an, a game where I've sort of took it up to him. They were pretty sharp early, Hick, weren't they? They, uh, they looked a bit dangerous, but we held their best towards the end of the first quarter. Then we rolled our best out in that second quarter. Yeah, they're a really, really aggressive team the way they play and they go through the corridor and they really use their hands and can score really quickly. So um, we knew how to weather the storm and really try and sort of nullify uh, the, the way they use the corridor and um, then sort of get the game on our terms and you know if we kicked straight it would have been it would have been a lot nicer but we really got ascendancy in that second term and the way they score they can score so quickly so it didn't really feel like we were safe for a whole lot of the game until late. Well, the inside 50s count mate were generally about plus 23, 24, 23 over each of the breaks so we're getting ascendancy there. JK didn't have his kicking boots on early, but that's okay. He's getting the ball and having shots at goal, so that's still positive. Yeah, and it's pretty hard to defend um, as well while we've done it for quarters of the time. So we kind of knew that if we just kept putting the foot on the throat and just kept pressuring them, that eventually the tide will turn and, and we can sort of, you know, they'll eventually go through. You can't keep missing them forever. So, um, no, it felt like we sort of stuck fat and um, kept playing the way we wanted to play and it turned eventually. Good on you, mate. Well done. Playing a really good role, mate. Well done. Tommy Hickey. Thanks, mate. Well done, mate. We might just, uh, what do you think, Jared? We're going to wind that up or we try and get one more point. I'm hoping to get Mark Hutching. So if we've got one more minute, I'll see if I can grab him. Darling up in front. He had a good spot there. Ambrose had to come late. Darling the handball. Got it to Ryan. Ryan, it's party night for him. What about Dom Sheed? What about Dom Sheed? He's nailed it. Thought Ryan should have gone for it as well. Not the most important goal he's kicked, but an absolute ripper. But I tell you what, Ryan... He could have done the same as what Sheed had done then, and he, he just hesitated, didn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he's brought his trick bag tonight, BT. Well, I think we're in luck, man. I think what uh, Mark Hutchings, you did a cracking job tonight. Hutchie, congratulations, mate. That defensive role on Adam Saab was so important. Yeah, that was my um, focus. Charter? Yeah, that was my charter from Simo. So, uh, yeah, just focused on that the whole night. Um, would have been nice to keep that goal at the end, but um, these things happen. I was pretty tired. I was chasing him around all night, but... Um, yeah, everyone chipped in, especially in the forward line, just yeah. to cover him because um, it was a team effort. So team played well, uh, had a ton of scoring shots, uh, which was um, pleasing, and uh, yeah, we played well. Can I say to you, a couple of times I was watching him, and you, because you played so defensively on him, a couple of times he's going to do one of those runs for the middle, but because you're in the way and you blocked him, he basically said, I can't do this. Yeah. Did um, you notice that? Yeah, I noticed it. Uh, once he gets his tail up, yeah. he's one of those types of guys that um, runs pretty fast, gets the handball, receives. So you kind of got to quell that and um, 
don't let him run in the first place because it's pretty hard to catch him when he gets going. And for you too, Hutch, to play that role forward and be defensive, getting away from being in the middle or down in the back 50, a good change for you. I mean, whether or not you kick the goal, it's still important you had the footy. And the other boys, I mean, our shots and goal inside 50, we were plus 23. So as you say, that's still a positive. Oh, yeah. We had um, played it in our forward half. They were really efficient when they went inside. They had kicked one point or two points. So um, it would have been... Oh, if we compare the scoring shots inside 50, we would have won by 10 goals um, on, a, on a usual night. So, yeah, take the 6 0 win. Um, good on a Thursday to win. Makes the weekend a lot, lot sweeter. Bit of a break, mate, before Hawthorne at the MCG. Congratulations. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. Mark Hutchings. Always a pleasure, mate. Well done. You, mate. Well, that much uh, wraps it up the, uh, this evening down here in the Telstra locker room. Look forward to seeing you probably in three weeks' time because the boys go to the MCG against Hawthorne, away derby after that, and then I think it's Collingwood back here. So we'll see you then.